Hi, my name is Nelson Elam. Today I'm going to show you how to walk through NVMe configuration of your flash array and ESXi environment. So first on the flash array, we're going to see that we have some Ethernet ports that are configured for iSCSI right now. We are going to be changing these to NVMe TCP. First thing we're going to do is SSH to that flash array as a pure user account. Um, you can do this with any account that has array admin permissions. If we run pure network ETH list, we can see that these ports, these four ports are set to iSCSI on the service type right now. Those are the ones we're going to be changing. Pure network ETH, we have a set attribute command and giving it the service list flag of NVMe TCP will allow us to change that for those four ports. And if we connect back to that environment, we can see now that the all four ports are configured with NVMe TCP. On the GUI itself, you can see that as well. Right now they're unconfigured. There's no address, netmask, or gateway. We're gonna populate those with the pertinent information these details will vary based on the networking requirements of your environment, so these don't need to be copied exactly. Went ahead and did that for all four ports again on the flash array. And now we're going to SSH to one of the SXI hosts that we're going to configure. For this example, we're doing two, but I'll just show you the details of one. We're going to grab the NQN first. We'll copy that out and use that later for the host objects. And next, we're going to add claim rules for pure back devices with NVMe. And we'll actually load those claim rules on that ESXi host. Now, back on the flash array GUI, we're going to create host objects or a host object in this video for these ESXi hosts. And we're going to use that NQN from earlier to give this host group a host port and yep we'll just copy and paste that into here from our ssh session earlier and you can see now that the interface on those host objects shows us nvm river fabrics we'll create a host group for these two host objects and we'll add those host objects into the host group now we're going to go over to the volumes tab on the top. We're going to make a uh, flash ray backed volume that will connect to these NVMe hosts. Just giving it nine terabytes, whatever, whatever size is appropriate for your, your needs. And we're going to connect that volume to that host group that we had configured. You can see on the host group that we have a connected volume and we have member hosts in there. So that's all good. Now we're going to go over to ESXi. We're going to add networking and we're going to create a new standard switch. This ESXi host has NVMe TCP capable NICs already installed. So we'll just add those, add a one of those ports to this vSwitch that we're creating, this virtual switch that we're creating. We're going to make sure that we enable the NVMe TCP service on this port that we're creating. And just like with the IP configuration on the array, the IP configuration here will vary based on the networking requirements that you are, that you might have in your environment. We now have two vSwitches. One, they're both NVMe for NVMe TCP. You can also do this with distributed vSwitches, but the VMR documentation is key there. So we'll go to storage adapters. We're actually gonna add NVMe TCP adapters, software adapters here. The same two adapters in this case, and we're going to add flash rate controllers to these software adapters, these NVMe software adapters, so that we can discover volumes that are presented to this host. Um, 
in this case with the four ports and the way I have this network set out created that it makes sense to have four controllers per adapter but that's not always the case and now without a rescan you can see that that volume shows up that we presented to it before and we'll go ahead and create a data store with the volume backing it that we had mount, mounted to this these host objects earlier. So we're just confirming that that serial number is correct between what the ESXi host sees and the flash array. And now we have a working NVMe TCP volume. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.